Hello, my name's Joe Miller, and since becoming the Prof's first in-house consultant a little over two years ago, I've supported over 100 students from 30 different countries in getting into the best universities around Britain. In this video, I'm going to share with you three quick tips on how to master your application for the Oxford MBA. My first tip is that you need to have a career-driven identity. For those of you who have worked in finance, you can think of this like an equity story. You need to be able to substantiate your key milestones and achievements in your career to date that have led you to this point. For the one plus one program at Oxford, you need to make sense of this and discuss it as if it were a transition. The best candidates have a job offer secured and lined up ready for when they graduate. It is really import important to note the people that you are applying against. Last year, this course had an 87% employability metric, very high, and the average salary for a graduate was £84,000, putting graduates from this course in the top 5% of UK income earners. Therefore, it is simply not enough to say, I want to do the MBA to be a banker or to be a consultant or to work in finance. You must have something lined up you must have a very specific niche career in mind. My second tip for people applying to Oxford's MBA is to smash your one-page CV. Given that this is a unique application in that you don't have a long personal statement, instead you only have 250 words for the MBA, two lots of 250 words for the one plus one program, your CV is vital. I use my own template to help clients with their CVs, but here are just a few quick tips on how you can master it. First of all, make sure that you are starting every bullet with an action verb. These bullets should not exceed one line and they should be short, succinct, to the point. Second, make sure that your CV is packed with numbers. Quantify everything. Don't just tell me about that great module that you did in your undergraduate degree. Tell me that you were in the top 99th percentile on that course. Don't just tell me about an achievement of your, in your old job. Tell me about where you ranked alongside your peers at work. That will really set you apart, and it's something that Oxford looked for. Third tip within the CV um, is that you need it to mirror that identity, that career-driven identity, so that you can discuss this story with the interviewer in your Oxford MBA interview. My third and final tip for mastering your application for Oxford's MBA programme is to manage your referees. I can't tell you how many times I've had a client and we have got everything done everything is ready, that submit button has been clicked, the application fee has been paid, and yet the Oxford admissions team cannot review it because, the, because your referees have not submitted their reference. With all of my candidates, I have two templates, one called the short email, one called the long email, and we send these long in advance of, of you submitting your application to your referees. This will guide them in what to include in your reference in a way that will mirror and complement your identity. In a similar way to the CV, it is vital that your referees are packing that reference with numbers, with statistics that really set you apart from your peers at work. A very common question that I get is, should I apply to the Oxford MBA? or should I instead apply to the Oxford MBA 1 plus 1? There are a few things that you must note before applying to the 1 plus 1 program. The first is you are essentially submitting two applications, one to the business school, who will look at your, your application from an MBA standpoint, and the other to the relevant department for that plus 1 program. You must be approved by both 
to get onto this program. Therefore, it is simply not enough to say that you have a great background in business or finance or something like that, but that you have an interest in history or art or technology. You must evidence that your career is in a transition or that your career is built around that plus one in order to have a successful application. Oxford will officially accept candidates with two years work experience or more. But on average, every successful candidate has at least five years work experience. And the fact that the average starting salary for, for graduates of this course is 84,000 pounds, I think speaks to that. Therefore, it is absolutely important that you can detail your work experience since when you graduated from your undergraduate degree and that you can discuss this over a five year time frame to show the, the admitters, the professors that will review your application, that you have a five year plan and that this program is going to facilitate the next step in your career. Those are just a small selection of the tips that we provide our clients here at the profs. For any further guidance on how to master the Oxford MBA or MBA 1 plus 1 program, please reach out via the link on the screen. Good luck.